Welcome back to S1 and the normal distribution part 3. In this video we're going to look at how we find the mean and standard deviation for a normally distributed variable. Essentially, if we want to find the mean or standard deviation, we need to know one piece of information, so we can create one equation. So for that, we'll need to know that random variable value and the size of the area. If we want to find the mean and the standard deviation, then we'll need two pieces of information because we have two unknowns. So here's my first example. I want to find the mean, and this is the piece of information I've got. So as always, quick sketch to sketch out what you know. Well, the mean we don't know. Less than 30 is 0 0.9 something. So that means it's bigger than a half and we're going less than. So we want our value somewhere over on the right. Now that we know where that is, that is going to be the same as our positive Z. So that's quite useful. So we know that Z equals X minus the mean over the standard deviation. Now I can look up this value and get my Z value. So we can see that 9319 is here. So 1.49 is my value of Z. So 1.49 equals 30 minus the mean over 5. So nice and easy here. We are times in by 5. And then I want to take the mean to my left and I take the 7.45 to my right. And that gives me 22.55. Okay, similar example, this time we're finding the standard deviation or the variance, it doesn't really matter, the question will ask you, but it's the same, one's just a square, the other one. Here's the information we got, so let's sketch it out. So this time we have the mean is 18, and we have 24, we know that's to the right, we want greater than, and it's this small value here of 0 0.2236. So this side is going to be 1 minus 0 0.2236, and that's 0 0.7764. Just need to look that up in my tables. And here we have it, 7764, so we've got 0 0.76. And of course it's positive as it's in the right hand side of my mean. So same formula again, z equals x minus the mean over the standard deviation. So 0 0.76 is equal to 24 minus 18 over my standard deviation. So my standard deviation is 7.89 to three significant figures. Of course, if I want the variance, then I would just square that value and I would get 62.3. And let's also do that to three significant figures. So it all depends on what the question is asking in terms of standard deviation or variance, but you work out the standard deviation and if you need the variance, you just square it. Very easy. Now, final example, we need to find both the mean and the standard deviation. And as you can see here, we're given two pieces of information. So let's put that into our table. So we've got less than eight, and it's a small number. So eight has got to be on the left of the mean. Greater than six, and that probability 0 0.9 there is large, so it's going to be again on the left of the mean, which kind of obvious could be to the left of the eight. So let's pop that one down as well. Now for both of these, I'm gonna use the mirror image. 
So we're going to go to this side. We know that this is 0 0.1131. We need this, which will be 1 minus 0 0.1131 which is 0 0.8869. So I want to look that up in my tables. And here you can see that it is 1.21. So if it's 1.21 here in the mirror image, Z must be negative 1.21 in the actual diagram. So just being careful with that. And then I can write my formula. So remember the formula is Z equals X minus the mean over the standard deviation. So minus one, two, one equals eight minus the mean over the standard deviation or minus 1.21 times the standard deviation is equal to eight minus the mean. And that's gonna be my first equation. Now, looking at my second equation, again, we need to look at the mirror image of this. And this area is 0 0.9147. So it does mean we can look this straight up in our tables. So here we can see it, 9147. So Z value here is 1.37. Now I must remember that this is a negative Z because it's on the original is on the left. And then using my Z formula, we get minus 1.37 equals six minus the mean over the standard deviation or minus 1.37 times the standard deviation is equal to six minus the mean. And this is our second equation. Now, if I look at my two equations, what you will notice, and this will happen always, is that you've got a minus mean and a minus mean. So if I subtract my equations, that will cancel to zero. So minus 1.21 minus minus 1.37 is going to be 0 0.16 times the standard deviation and 8 minus 6 is 2 and my means will cancel so that gives me my standard deviation as 12.5 okay and as i said before you can find the variance by just squaring it not that we need it for this particular question now, once I've got my standard deviation, I can use either equation, one or two, and substitute it in, and then rearrange for the mean. So here we have the mean is 23.125. And that's the basics behind finding the mean, or standard deviation, or both. I'll put a couple of examples up and as always, I'll go through them at the end.